Hi, I'm Teacher Thomas. We're looking at A-Level 9709 2020 exam series, Specimen Paper 5. This is Question 3. A book club sends six paperback and two hardback books to Mrs. Hunt. She chooses four of these books at random to take with her on holiday. The random variable X represents the number of paperback books she chooses. Requirement A. Show that the probability that she chooses exactly two paperback books is 3 of 14. X is our variable. We're calculating the probability that X equals 2. And in setting up the probability, I want to think about what's happening in this situation. Mrs. Hunt is going to choose four books. There are paperbacks and there are hardbacks. We want to look at the probability of choosing exactly two paperback books and confirm that our result is 3 of 14. This is a combination scenario. It doesn't matter which paperback books we select, just that we select exactly two. And it doesn't matter which hardback books we select. If she's going to choose four total, two are paperback, then two will be hardback. Now there happen to only be two hardback books. In this particular problem, we don't need to factor in the hardback books, but I want to show that calculation because in other situations, there could be more hardback books to choose from than you need to choose. So our setup is going to be from the six paperbacks, I'm looking at a combination, six choose two. I'm going to multiply by the hardbacks, two choose two. Note that 2 choose 2 is 1, but again, because we might in other cases be choosing from a larger number than the number we need to choose, I'm going to keep that calculation in to show that we are in fact looking at two different decisions that combine through multiplication. Now the probability is going to be based on the total number of possible outcomes in the denominator. The total number of possible outcomes is out of 8 books, we choose four. And we're not making any restrictions on whether they're hardback or paperback in the denominator calculation. This calculation simplifies to three over 14. And when we arrive at that figure, we know that we have in fact performed the correct calculation. That's the probability we were given to prove. Let's continue on to requirement B draw up the probability distribution table for x. The probability distribution table has two rows. One is x, which is the possibilities for the outcome x. The other is the probability that x, that's a capital, equals x, a lowercase. And we need to think about how many different options we have. In this scenario, Mrs. Hunt is choosing four books and there are three possibilities for the number of paperbacks that she chooses. On the high end, she could choose four paperbacks and zero hardbacks. I say the high end because she's only choosing four. There can't be more than four paperback if the total number she's going to choose is four. Going down, another option is three. She could choose three paperbacks and one hardback. Continuing down, she could choose two two paperbacks and two hardbacks. Now we can't go any lower than two because if she's going to choose four books and there are only two hardback books, then she needs to choose at least two paperbacks. From here I'll put in lines to create my table. And now I want to make an adjustment to the X in the top row. I want to emphasize that that is the lower case X. So I'm going to update that X and now that's a bit smaller, so to note the distinction, the uppercase x represents the variable x. The lowercase x represents the specific outcome that we're evaluating. We've identified three possibilities, two, three, and four. In requirement A, we calculated the probability of two paperbacks as three over 14 for three and four, probability that x equals 3. In this situation we're choosing three paperbacks, so we have 6 choose 3 times 2 choose 1. 
that's the hardbacks, over the same denominator, 8 choose 4, which equals 4 of 7. I'll put that into the table. And for the probability that x equals 4, paperbacks 6 choose 4, times hardbacks 2 choose 0. That's a value of 1, but I want to keep that in the calculation to show that I'm making a consideration about two different types of books. Over, again, same denominator, 8 choose 4. Our result, 3 over 14. I'll put that into my table. And as a confirmation, when I add 3 over 14 plus 4 over 7, plus 3 over 14, I have 14 over 14, or 1. The sum of the probabilities in the probability distribution table always needs to be exactly 1. That's an important confirmation, that's an important check on your calculations when you're drawing up a probability distribution table. Now let's move on to requirement C. You are given that the expectation of x equals 3, find the variance of x. In this problem, we're dealing with a discrete random variable. The random variable is x. The discrete nature is that we're dealing with books. One book, two books, three books, rather than a continuous random variable. For the variance of a discrete random variable, we're going to use the formula variance of x equals the sum of the multiplication of x squared times its probability minus the expectation of x, which has been given to us, squared. The first term of the calculation, the summation, x squared times probability. Our first x is 2, so we square that value and multiply by its probability of 3 over 14, adding to that the next outcome of 3, which we square, multiplying by its probability of 4 over 7, and our final outcome is 4. We square and multiply by the probability 3 over 14. From this calculation, we subtract the square of the expectation of x. The expectation of x as given is 3, so we're going to subtract 3 squared and when we simplify, we have 3 over 7, which is the variance of x. And this completes the requirements for 9709 Specimen Paper 5, question number 3.